Hey all my Scorpio friends and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your weekly love reading from the, it'll be the 28th through the 3rd of September. This is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm going to tip you on down here and let's see what you guys got going on in love. Okay. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love from now? Oh, that one flew out. Five of Swords, walking away, realizing that there's, there's no point in fighting for something that isn't fighting for you back. Um, you're both, you're both just hurting each other, staying in this relationship. So one of you is walking away. Yeah. Um, they could have been waiting for you to come forward and apologize or to make them an offer of love or to want to reconcile this. But um, I see that you just, you've had enough. Um, you're just so drained from the situation, from all the hurt and betrayal. Yeah, the sun is here. It's in reverse, but either way, this, um, this card is one of inspiration. It's to look forward to the future, things coming, um, to light that were once done in the dark, um, following your heart. You're holding back right now. You're, um, there could be somebody in your space that is uh, trying to bring you down, um, trying to talk you out of walking your own path from following your own heart. Um, you also have the Six of Cups here. So this is somebody that you've known um, either in this time or times before, but this is somebody from your past. Um, also somebody possibly that you have children from but or children with. But... Uh, this is like the innocence of a new relationship. That's what you're wanting to move forward from. You see how dark these two cards are and then how light these are. You want to move forward um, in a positive direction and out of the negativity that has been surrounding you lately. Um, you want to you want to have a relationship that's more lighthearted, not so heavy, um, not so many not so much fighting. Yeah, it breaks your heart to do this. You have the three of swords here. Um, or somebody broke your heart. That's why you're walking away. <clears throat> yeah, this caused you some extreme pain. Um, you had a feeling this was going on, but they kept lying to you is what I'm hearing. Um, could be dealing with an earth sign. Uh, but there's a very dominant um, figure... Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, either that you're moving towards or moving away from. I can't tell just yet. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this was a third party situation. Um, and you're just finding out about this. Uh, you already know that this is going on and you could tell that their attention was divided. You could tell that they didn't, you didn't have their full attention. Um, during this relationship and it broke your heart. The chariot. Yeah. You've been holding, you've been holding off from moving forward. Um, you've been scared to, uh, set out on your own. You're yeah. You're not wanting, you're fearful of, um, becoming single of, of doing this without somebody. So you're just kind of staying put, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you know there's no new beginning here. You know that this has caused you just extreme emotional exhaustion. Um, a lot of tears. A lot of crying. You could, um, you could be separated from this person. You could have left, um, or they, they up and left. 
Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, they left from a third party. But somebody's blocked. Either you blocked somebody or they blocked you from communication. Um, you can't seem to reach them. Uh, and it's it's causing you to not have any closure. And that's why your um, chariot is in reverse. The seven of Cups. Yeah, they had a lot of options. Um, this is also, uh, trying to make you believe something that wasn't happening. Um, illusions. They're trying to make you think everything was okay, but you're starting to figure those out. They're coming to light with the sun card here, uh, and the 10 of wands. So this is, yeah, this has just been so burdensome. A lot of responsibilities have been on your back. Um, yeah, you're very close to ending a cycle. In this card, the the person with the Ten of Wands, they're walking up to that tower. And that's the tower that's in the tower card. So, um, yeah, you're you're about ready to, to be done with this. Um, this heartache, this... Emotionally draining situation. You also have the two of wands. So you're coming to a crossroads. You're either going to have to choose whether to keep carrying these wands, um, keep carrying the burden of, of this relationship, or to take the other path to where um, you'll get the three of wands. Your ships will come in. Your blessings will, will begin to appear. Yeah, um, you're going to choose the path of uh, putting the wands down and moving forward towards your three of wands because you have the five of pentacles in reverse. So coming in from out of the cold, somebody that had left you, um, the feeling of abandonment, you are finding the warmth. Yeah. You're being enlightened to the situation. You are you're going through a transformation and uh, and having a a rebirth, a spiritual rebirth. After you choose the path of letting this go, and the alchemist, most definitely. Um, Just one second here. Yeah, you're going to create um, create your own blessings. You're, you're manifesting what it is that you want by moving down the path that you're meant to take. By having this, uh, this spiritual rebirth, you're going to be able to create whatever it is that you desire. Um Yeah. Yeah, because the Yeah, this is like this is destiny, destined to happen. You see the um ever ending yeah. never ending um sign in the back. I'm just getting so many um things in for this card. It's crazy. Um you're manifesting your dreams right now. Um, it was meant for, it was destined for this heartache to happen. It was a lesson that needed to be learned. Um, and as much as it hurt, you needed to feel this pain to move forward and to be able to leave this person in the, in the past. Um, the seven of cups, you're coming out of uh, an illusion. This person try to make you believe things that weren't real or they try to make you feel crazy for, for, um, your intuition telling you that something, um, sneaky was going on. Uh, there is no communication between the two of you right now. You're going to lay down this burden and you're going to take your lesson and move forward. 
And when you do, you're going to pick the right path that you're meant to be on. And you're going to come out of the cold. You're going to find that church and that spiritual rebirth. And you are going to draw strength from that. When you do, you're going to be able to manifest your future. You're going to be able to create your own reality um, because you have you will have all the tools. And your bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a gift from the universe. This is meant to happen. This is your destiny. Um, and you will be well rewarded for moving forward and moving on from this um, this uh, relationship that caused so much heartache. I'll pull a romance angel card here for you guys. What does Scorpio have in the next week for love coming towards them? Okay, whoa. Wow, okay. Well, first to start off, your bottom of the deck is calling in your soulmate. So like I said, you are manifesting your desires, your dreams. You are the one that is... Um, bringing in all these blessings for you. Um, very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want um, so that it comes to you now. Because like I said, once you move on from this, once you take your lesson and lay these down, you're going to be able to manifest and call in your soulmate, like I said, um, because the new love is coming for you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. If they haven't yet, they will during this week. And um, you also got uh, romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is coming to you very soon. Um, this week, you are, like I said, calling in your soulmate. Um, you have the power to do this. You just have to believe in yourself. Um, mend your broken heart. Um, take that chariot and move on out move forward, uh, because new love is here for you. Even though this, uh, is been emotionally exhausting and draining and you've, you're tired of crying over this person. Um, when you move forward and choose that path, um, you're meant to take, this will come in the upright and be a new beginning for you, um, in love. So Scorpio, you guys have a big week, um, coming towards you, a lot of emotional hurdles, but the sun is here to bless your way, to light your path. You have all the tools to do it. You're manifesting your reality. So um, keep working hard and enjoy your week. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.